Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to another weather forecast here by Adrian's Weather Forecast, and welcome back to another video. This is going to be of the on um, windstorm K that is continuing to move up the uh, Appalachians, and it's going to start bringing a ton of ice and rain uh, and even snow all the way from the southeast up into the main area. So definitely going to be seeing a ton of snow, major threats such as travel issues and power outages due to tons of ice, uh, the fall down. Um, not a ton of, not like tons of ice, but like a good amount of ice to fall on the ground. Definitely to take that to power outages and possibly weigh down trees. And then could possibly see blizzard conditions due to the very strong wind and heavy snow. And then we could be seeing possibly up to a foot of snow in some areas. And could possibly see some cancellations as well as snow all the way to the natural area. But if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Guys, really means a lot when you guys support my channel. I want to thank you guys so much. For 2,050 subscribers, it really, really means a lot that you guys love my channel. And also, be sure to share the channel to any friends or family that you think will also love my channel. But without further ado, let's get this video. So, we're going to be focusing on the uh, winter uh, weather alert here. Uh, not going to be focusing on the severe weather right now, as we just posted on the Iran two hours ago but again here we are looking at this system right here we have winter weather advisories for the nashville area the springfield area and that's going to go all the way up into the cincinnati lexington paducah evansville uh columbus ohio cleveland ohio youngston uh, i believe we have pittsburgh um north central pennsylvania much of southern the uh new york and that areas into the new england area such as out here into the Concord, New Hampshire area, potentially out there near Portland and Augusta, Maine. Again, this could definitely be a, a probably the biggest snowstorm in Kentucky or possibly even out, air, out here to southern Indiana of the whole winter. So definitely for those people who have complaining about not seeing snow in Cincinnati, uh, Lexington, maybe even uh, out here near Louisville, we could potentially see some snow moving in these areas. And then we do have windstorm warnings out here for upstate New York. We do have them for Rochester, Ithaca, Syracuse, uh, Burlington, White Mountain, and Caribou, and Bangor, Maine. Again, we're potentially seeing some very heavy snow in these areas. As we now get early into tomorrow morning, we are going to start seeing some snow out here into the Evansville area, Indianapolis, out here, potentially Chicago. Could be seeing some snow flurries, heavy snow moving to the Detroit area, Toronto, Columbus, uh, more into the northeastern part of Ohio. Could be seeing more of an ice threat as it also does create a little band in between the rain and the snow out there into the New England area. As we now get later into uh, as we get overnight hours, we'll start to see the snow uh, as we get into later um again early tomorrow morning could be seeing some very heavy snow moving to the nashville area could be seeing some snow for louisville uh that snow moving to cincinnati snow for lexington paducah and could be seeing very heavy snow out here into the south south uh, western part and south central part of tennessee potentially even seeing some uh rain uh snow mixed out here into the areas near the tupelo mississippi area as we now move into later into tomorrow, we're going to potentially see, again, like I said, blizzard conditions out here for Rochester, Syracuse, uh, potentially all the way near Scranton. State College can be seeing blizzard conditions, still seeing, uh, snow out here in Cincinnati, Lexington out here into the uh, the crest of the Appalachians, could be some snow, again, potentially moving into the western Maryland area, uh, Charleston, and then again, potentially seeing a ton of ice moving in into the New England area. And then it should be mostly over by the next 48 hours. But again, could potentially still see another snow, a uh, little snow showers moving into the uh, potentially Midwest area. And now we are going to be looking at the GFS here. Again, this is the 430 update. But again, as we get into six hours, we are going to start seeing the snow um, leaving the Indianapolis area. Still seeing some flurries in Chicago. Uh, potentially very heavy snow moving into Detroit to add on, on the precipitation you guys saw last night. And then as we now get to the next 12 hours, we'll start seeing the snow form into the um, the Tennessee Valley area. Could be seeing some snow out here uh, into central Mississippi, some snow near Huntsville, uh, Nashville, Springfield, and other areas out here into the uh, Tennessee area. And again, much of also into Louisville. And then look at this. Could be seeing some snow all the way near the Birmingham area. But again, won't be seeing much precipitation. Could bring in some very, very heavy snow out of here into the, tra into the uh, uh, Charleston area, Lexington uh, Johnson City, again, going to be potentially very heavy snow, and this could actually potentially be close to a bomb cyclone, uh, there's very, a potential big chance for this to become a bomb cyclone as it drops up to 10 millibars within, 
uh, within six hours. So this is definitely a potential major bomb cyclone. It could bring some snow out here in New Ohio Valley. Continue to bring some snow for Lexington, Charleston, uh, Columbus, Ohio, Pittsburgh, and blizzard conditions moving into the Scranton, Poconos area. Syracuse, very heavy snow moving into the Albany area. So again, very heavy snow, as you can tell. Again, as it will be mostly over, it could potentially be up to 960 millibars. So definitely big a risk for a bomb cyclone. And now the an NAN 3KM model with the next nine hours. Again, we'll start seeing the snow moving in to the uh, Tennessee area. Could be seeing some snow out there. The heaviest will be more into the far northwest or Mississippi. Seeing some flurries in the Memphis area and potentially could be seeing some flurries out there off the Mississippi River. As we now get into the next 12 hours, now, the snow will bring really heavy moving into the uh, south central part of Kentucky. Very heavy snow south of Nashville and very heavy snow moving into the areas. Uh, into central Tennessee it won't be too shabby uh, condition wise but again still gonna be very heavy for the southeast term and then we'll have pause by the next 24 hours it should be mostly over for these areas but now let's take a look out here into the northeast and see exactly how bad it's over here again with the next 12 hours we're gonna start seeing um this first band out here from Cade uh, bringing the very heavy uh, ice threats and uh, again freezing rain and just a ton of uh, sleet moving in uh, from the last waves and then we'll have this very heavy snow moving within the next 16 hours potential blizzard conditions for central Virginia out there in the Appalachians Charleston very heavy snow Cincinnati Lexington gonna get a good amount of snowfall from the system and then uh, I don't know what this actually is all the way over here I don't think I've really ever seen this um show up before I really don't know what all of this uh, I don't know if these are just multiple low pressure I don't know if it's a glitch uh, but again, I don't know what this is, guys, for those people who are going to be asking. I really don't know what this is. I don't know if it's a glitch or not. But again, potential blizzard conditions moving to the state college area. Again, it's going to move in really heavy, very heavy snow. You can see severe weather one minute to blizzard conditions in the next, especially that's going to be a major threat into Pennsylvania and New York. And then we'll see this very heavy snow within the next 24 hours, blizzard conditions moving into the Albany area. Very heavy snow for the Scranton area as well. Seeing some um, other flurries on the other side of Pennsylvania. Very heavy snow for Burlington and more like a main. Uh, it was like more of an ice threat for Maine in this system basically. And then later on after this with the next 30 hours start seeing this these last bands coming in. Here's snowfall totals again. Let's actually quickly take a look out here into the southeast. Still showing a chance for uh, maximum one inch out here into the uh, potentially could be seeing some snow in my area. There's a chance. Out there, if you're in the other Springfield area, you could be seeing less than an inch. Looks like Nashville, on the other hand, could be seeing one to maybe maximum three inches. And then out here into the uh, closer to more northeastern Texas or Tennessee, we'll be seeing a chance of four inches. And then out here into the far crest, the border with North Carolina, Tennessee, could potentially see up to seven to eight inches of snowfall. And then Lexington, uh, one to two inches of snowfall. And then out here into south uh, eastern Kentucky, could be seeing up to around four to uh, six inches as well and then snowfall totals here for the west virginia area could be seeing close to a foot of snow out here into the northeastern part of the state pittsburgh on the hand could be seeing three to five inches of snowfall state college three to five inches of snowfall uh air into far northeastern pennsylvania on the other hand could be seeing more than a foot of snowfall again it's gonna get quite crazy over there it looks like albany could be seeing close to a foot of snow closer possibly to nine to uh, nine to ten inches but there's a really good chance we can get past uh the 12 inches as well as like uh syracuse is gonna this storm's gonna make up for the three uh for the uh, long time of no snow in these areas um in new york uh could possibly br drop a good amount of snow up to a foot of snow for syracuse rochester and ithaca and then could be seeing uh up to 13 to possibly 20 inches into north central vermont could be seeing uh nothing for new york city no, really nothing for boston on the other hand for Far west from Massachusetts, on, oh, we could be seeing 11 to 16 inches of the snow. Burlington, a foot of snow, and then a foot of snow out here into the main area. And now for the European model, it is showing around 2 inches for Springfield and possibly 1 to 3 inches for Nashville. And then another arrow up to 4 inches out here into the kind of far northeastern, or not far northeastern, but uh, somewhat northeastern Tennessee. And then we could be seeing 1 to 3 inches out here near Nashville. Um up to three to five inches for Lexington and much of eastern Kentucky. 
Uh, looks like up to again seven to nine inches of snowfall throughout nor uh, west out there in West Virginia. One to three inches for Columbus, and up to two to f uh, two to four inches for Youngstown, Ohio. Up to close to a half foot of snowfall for Pittsburgh. I believe that's one of the most the high the highest amount of snowfall we've seen this year with one storm. I believe, but correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's five to seven inches right now for Pittsburgh, and then out here into the State College area, up to two to five inch out there, and then North Central Pennsylvania as well, going to get up to ten inches of snow, and then we could be seeing uh, quite a difference out here in the GF or European now, only showing around. Three to five inches for Albany on the other hand, where it shows up to a foot of snow on the GFS. It is showing up to half foot of snow for Buffalo and again a foot for Rochester and Syracuse. And then up to 20 plus inches for all the way upstate New York and uh, Maine. And then up to a foot for Burlington and even Caribou. But I hope you got through the video and bye guys.